So I am on my way right now to pick up an 80s Mario Nintendo shelf unit. This thing is incredible. Uh, it holds like a little 13 inch TV and it rolls around. It's got the Mario emblem on the side. I'm so pumped to get it. It popped up on Facebook Marketplace and we're going to pick it up now. What is up internet, Retro here, and welcome back to another episode of Retro Hunting. Hey, if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that freaking subscribe button so you don't miss out on new weekly videos. So I was told about this deal on Facebook Marketplace, a friend of mine sent me the ad, and uh, it was originally marked at 100, marked down to 75, and I asked if she would take 60, and she said that she would, and that's a great deal. They sell for like 150 to 200, sometimes even 250 bucks. I was pumped to get it. Um, I actually sent her a picture of my game room. I do that sometimes when I'm trying to get a, I'm trying to get a deal because there were a lot of people asking her about this thing, and I wanted to make sure that she knew I was serious. And she asked me, "Are are you serious about your game room? Like, is that is that for real?" And I was like, "It is. It is a sickness of mine." But I do know one thing: I need this in my collection, and I was so pumped to get it. She starts to show me some of the dirt and the stains. I'm not worried about it. I know that I'm going to be able to clean all that stuff up pretty easily. Another pro tip, I asked before we met up if she had any other game stuff for sale. And she uh, she sent me over some pictures of Genesis games, Nintendo, and N64 games. And I found an N64 game. I asked if she would throw it in, and she did. It was called Charlie's Blast. It's worth about 20 bucks. So that makes this thing about $40 all in for me once I resell that game, um, which is a fantastic deal. So here we are exchanging the money for the cart. It's a done deal. Here it is. It's standing up. Mario is looking so rad. And honestly, all I could think about was getting this thing home, getting it all cleaned up, getting my Sony Trinitron 13 inch TV on top of this thing. Oh, I could not wait. Let's bring this thing back to the game room. All right, here it is, all cleaned up and ready to go. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, this thing could be one of my favorite pieces in the collection. It is absolutely insane. Um, the info that I could find on it was it was released in 1989 and it was used in a child's bedroom. So it's on rollers and then you have the TV on top. C can you imagine having this as a kid in your bedroom? Oh my gosh, this thing. It's beautiful. Like, so here's this Mario. You can tell it's old just by by the way Mario looks. I mean, he looks really derpy. <laughs> I mean, his his overalls are red. That's not how um, the color coordination is now. It's actually Here blue overalls go. and a red shirt. So they were still trying to figure out what Mario needed to look like. But um, these shells are adjustable over here. So I made it to where I could have my original Nintendo in there, and then the top loader Nintendo in there as well. Down here you have um, just some spots to put uh, box games or cartridge games. So I have some of my favorite games down here. Uh, you got Contra, Metroid, Kirby, Mega Man, Punch Out, and it it looks so good. Now I'm not gonna say it looks brand new, but it cleaned up really, really well. I went to town on it with a magic eraser, and then um, I got a bunch of sharpies that are all like different colors. So I took obviously blue, red, black, and I touched him up and it looks really good. You can't even see where I touched it up. Um, but I mean, there's, you know, like right here, you can kind of see a little bit of a uh, an old stain or something that I couldn't quite get. But in general, man, it looks really clean. It's completely intact. There's nothing broken on it or, or anything like that. I'm trying to figure out where I'm gonna put it. I'm, I might put it where that fridge is, maybe next to it if I can fit it, but it's got to stay. I mean, it's got to stay in the collection. Oh my gosh. I just love this thing. 
looks freaking amazing. So that's it, man. I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Check out some of the other videos, and until next time, peace.